All right, so the N55. The N55 is a three liter twin scroll, single turbo, direct injected, dual overhead cam, straight six with Valvetronic and Vanos. It's got a bore of 84 millimeters and a stroke of 89.6. The N55 also has the same crank hub design as the S55. And it's also the same with the N54 where there's just the crank hub is bolted to the crankshaft with a friction disc in between both of them. And there's a bolt holding them to all together. So it's not keyed or pinned or, or anything. This is the same bore and stroke as the S55. Hence why the S55 is based on the N55. It comes in a variety of different power levels ranging from 302 horsepower in the early pneumatic wastegate 335i's all the way up to 365 in the last generation of the N55 that was in the F87 M2 non-competition. All variants have forged connecting rods. The pneumatic variants have the pneumatic variants have a cast crankshaft and cast pistons. The only exception to this is the M135i, which for about eight to nine months in its first year had a pneumatic turbo. The best version of the N55 is the variation that's in the M2. It's got forged crankshaft, forged connecting rods, cast aluminum pistons, which are actually called hyper eutonic or hypertectonic. I'll put the name up here somewhere. It's a bit hard to pronounce as well as it's got a slightly different turbo than an M235i and it's got a dual stage oil pickup which is much better. That's probably the biggest benefit from this variation to be honest. The N55 also features an open deck design meaning it's not quite as strong as the N54. The M135i and M235i have got the same long block as the M2 non-competition. They both don't have the dual stage oil pickup and a different turbo, both on the pneumatic for the early M135Is in 2013. The electronic on the 2014 onwards is still slightly different to the M2 non-competition. The N55 is actually a much more reliable engine than the N54. However, it's still not without its problems. The main problems are the fuel injectors just needing to be replaced with eight. The N55 fuel injectors are a solenoid style compared to the N54, which is a piezo crystal style. The main difference is that if you have an N54 or an N55 at some point they'll need to be replaced on both engines it's just that the solenoid pipes are significantly cheaper to replace compared to the PZO crystal style water pump and thermostat the N55 features an electronic water pump and this just fails with time the actual motor itself does not fail there's an actual control panel that's inside the motor and that's normally the thing that goes the actual water pumps are permanent magnet style and the actual motor is very reliable some people have reported N55 spinning rod bearings. I personally have an M135i with a pneumatic wastegate and haven't had any problems with it. I've even made a video on when I check my rod bearings and I give a breakdown of the condition of the rod bearing. So some of the variants that are in the, the F30 and F32 and F36, 335 and 435i, they still have the cast crankshaft, even though you could get that in a electronic wastegated turbo. In terms of power figures, the electronic wastegate is a lot more capable compared to the pneumatic wastegate. The pneumatic wastegate has got a smaller exhaust housing and because of this it doesn't flow as well and it's more susceptible to excess back pressure. The pneumatic wastegate has a three and a half inch exhaust housing outlet and the electronic has a four inch so and because of that the electronic wastegate makes more power as well as if you look at a dyno graph the pneumatic wastegate has a similar like the first half the pool looks pretty similar and then the pneumatic the pneumatic wastegate is not quite as good because of the actual design of the pneumatic wastegate. You can't adjust it quite to the same accuracy as an electronic wastegate when you're tuning it, or well, when someone tunes it, maybe probably not you if you're watching this video i don't want to be rude and the power curve at about 5400 rpm it just starts to sort of plateau and then drop off whereas the electronic wastegate pulls to about six six thousand one hundred and then starts to drop so if you're looking at buying one like a car that's got this engine in it probably go for the electronic wastegate if you can the n55 with the pneumatic wastegate also known as pwg is really only capable of about 360 sometimes 370 horsepower with full bolt-ons and a tune whereas the electronic wastegate can crack about 410 420. now obviously this depends on 
who's tuning your car, what fuel, where you are in the world, and most importantly, what dyno you're using. I can make a whole separate video on how people manipulate numbers on a dyno. It's actually really easy to do, but I'll, but I'll leave you with this. The easiest way to see if someone's manipulating the dyno is that the power and torque numbers on the dyno graph, they often inter intersect at some point creating an X. I'll throw a photo up on the screen. If it doesn't intersect, if it intersects at 5252 RPM exactly, that means that their correction factor is either accurate or there is no correction factor. Compared to if you have a different crossover point like 4500 or 6000, all the best ones I've seen are when you have, when some people that sell software or tunes, they'll have, they'll overlay two graph two curves on the same graph one being the stock and then maybe with a stage one tune and one will have one correction factor and one will have a different correction factor just something to think about overall the n55 is a pretty good engine but it definitely has its place in the market where it's really just it's not particularly a performance engine in the m2 it's its application in the m2 is pretty good but it's not really a full m engine if you want to get to the specifics so with that hope you enjoyed this video make sure to subscribe and check out the website at shopmcgarage.com the firing order on the n55 is one five four six two three